Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Jessica, also known as Chic Professor on Instagram, and I make videos on luxury goods, the pre-loved market, sustainable fashion, and workwear. Today's video is going to be about some luxury goods that I am selling, and they are from Louis Vuitton. So I don't know if this is gonna be a vlog sale, but mostly just to describe why I'm selling what I am. But I do have a few other things actually in this bag that I'm selling, so maybe it'll be kind of a mix of the two. But I did wanna say why I'm selling these. I've had these for a long time, and I asked on Instagram, and a lot of you said you wanted to know why I was selling this people, and I thought I may as well include the Neverfull in there too, because I've gone back and forth about selling that bag for a long time, and I've finally decided to part with it. So in terms of the people, this is a vintage from 1988, vintage Louis Vuitton keepall in the monogram print, and it is the 50 size. This is a great luggage piece if you like duffels, but I don't like duffels. My husband actually really dislikes this bag, probably because he's the one who winds up carrying it most of the time. I am, it is the bandolier, but I am missing the strap. So it would be slightly more comfortable to carry with a strap, but honestly, we just never choose it. And the only time we ever choose it is when we're going on like a car trip. And even then, we find that with luggage, we like for it to be understated. We don't really like for it to be so loud. It just doesn't always feel like the safest option when traveling, and so that's one reason that we just rarely use it. It's also difficult to zip. It doesn't have any kind of organization inside, so those are really the reasons why we've decided to get rid of it. I also don't love the monogram. If I could have any keep all, it would actually be the men's eclipse one. I really do like that. I like those colors when traveling. I think it's a little more understated. So I actually do really like that one and maybe in the future I would get that. But as of now, it's just, it's just not something that we gravitate towards. As you can see with this one, it has a really nice even patina. It's this nice sort of honey colored. I really like that it's vintage and I almost considered finding another one with my birth year, which is 89 instead of 88, and maybe getting one that actually did have the strap. But then as I was thinking about replacing it, I just sort of decided why I never gravitate towards it. It really just sits in my closet and looks pretty, but there's nothing wrong with that. But I would rather just use my money on things that I'm actually going to be using. So this is the second one that I had. The first one didn't have the bandolier and I just decided, oh, if I had the strap, I'd use it so much more. And then I had this bag for maybe a year or two and never bought a strap for it. So I think that shows how really motivated I was to really use this bag. And so, yeah, it was time for it to go. The Neverfall, I have a whole video about <laughs> going back and forth about buying this bag and I'm glad I bought it. I'm definitely glad I'm try I've tried it out. I think it looks really cute in pictures. I also think it looks very similar to what a lot of other people have. And now that we are moving to an area that has a lot more luxury, I have already seen this all over the place. So I don't know how much I would use it. I also considered, oh, I'll save it and use it as a baby bag once we have kids. But the thing is, it rains here <laughs> quite a bit and I just don't want this open tote to be what I carry. And it's just, it's still kind of cumbersome. It still kind of gets in the way. I've decided I would prefer to use a long chomp and I would feel even more carefree with that than I would with this, plus it could zip. So yeah, I've just sort of decided that this isn't the one that I'm gonna keep. This does not have the pochette with it. So it just has the kind of the regular organizational qualities. It's, I really like it in the Aben. I certainly wouldn't want it in anything else. But this bag is everywhere. It digs into my shoulders. I don't find the straps comfortable. I find that I really wish that it zipped at the top. So I've, I've held on to this for so long because I keep being like, well, it's such a popular bag. All these people love it. I love it too. Do I? And the thing is, I don't actually wear that much brown. So when I do wear brown, it's nice to be able to grab it. But it's just, it just isn't something that I need in my collection, I don't think. I think it's a little too dressy for super casual bags. It's a little too in your face if I want something that's understated and really casual. And it's too big to be what I, I tend to typically wear smaller casual bags. And then for work, it just feels not professional enough. So it's kind of a, a mix and potentially later in life if I'm carrying a ton of stuff around and I really want an open easy tote I'll buy it again but for now I think it's time for it to go 
In terms of this bag, if anyone is interested in it, it has some wear in the corners where the leather is not tearing, but is certainly wrinkled and, and wearing, you know, a little discolored from just kind of cracking a little bit. The canvas is in good shape except for some of the corners, which is just kind of typical wear. And then I think there's a tiny nick in the canvas somewhere. Where? I'm having this much trouble finding it, it probably isn't super likely that whoever takes it in to get it repaired is going to immediately see it. I really don't see it anywhere. Anyway, if I can find it, I will insert a picture, <laughs> but I don't see it. I bought this off of Fashion File and I have all of the Fashion File certificate and things for it, so I would be happy to include that in a sale and I'll leave sale prices down below. So that's those bags. <laughs> The other bags I would consider selling are the other Louis Vuitton is my Louis Vuitton at the pochette in the red. This is really sweet. I've been really loving my little Prada red bag and I would only ever use this as a clutch. And although it's a cute clutch, I don't use a clutch that often and I really don't need a red clutch because I just rarely use one. And I can't really imagine, unless it was really formal, an event where I couldn't just use my little, like if I'm just going on a date night, I can use my little crossbody and just wear it on my shoulder or take the strap off and just kind of hold that one. So I, I'm still sort of debating on this one, but I think if I get the right price for it, I will let this one go. These are basically all little pouches. This is a little pouch by Ferragamo. I'm sure it came inside a bag once, but I just bought the pouch itself. And it's this lambskin. It's kind of like a burgundy color, really sweet little pouch zips at the top. The interior is just like a satin sort of color and that's it. It doesn't have too much going on with it. The other pouch is here and this one's kind of like a cosmetic pouch. Also, it's Ferragamo. It has this wrinkle here. It's kind of like this black sparkly like denim kind of fabric. Zip to the top is bright pink inside but it's kind of padded. It doesn't fit a mini iPad. It's like just a little bit too small for that but I'm sure that it could fit something if somebody had something they really liked for this. And then it also has this little opening here and it's, it's this big, it just holds my fingers. I don't really know what the point of it is. I guess it actually, you could go a little further in it, but if you had like a little charger or something, I guess you could just throw it in there. I've used this to travel, but I don't use it often. So it's a really cute little pouch and could certainly be used as a clutch or whatever you would want it to be. And the last one I'm thinking about selling is this Prada nylon crossbody. I think it's called like the Abisco, or maybe that's the color, Abisco Impuntu, I wanna say it's something like that. Anyway, this bag has the nice interwoven strap. It's nylon, not leather. The silver hardware, it's got a little snap on the back. This is a really helpful, useful pocket on the back. And then the interior of this, even though the exterior is nylon, the interior is leather. You can take the strap off. It's a really handy bag. It's really well done. There's a little zip pocket and then there's a little uh, slip pocket here and it can hold a surprising amount. So this is a really cute bag, but I found with my Alma BB, I just gravitate towards that so much more that I rarely use this. And I always think of the nylon as being really casual, but then now that I'm like around my nephews a lot and I'm playing around with them and we wanna have kids and all of that, it just feels like I'm actually more worried about nylon than I would be something like a canvas. So it just feels like not the best thing to keep anymore. So those are the bags that I am thinking about selling. There are a few others that I'm considering maybe in the future, but for now I'm feeling really good with my collection. So when these are out of the way, I think I'll be really happy with everything. So I will leave the prices for everything down below, but I hope that gives you some idea of why I'm selling these pieces. And if you're interested in anything, let me know. I, my email address is down below, but you can also send me a DM on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.